welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and reviewing the Stock Swish show play of the day today, which was UPS. We did a put in this and we did a day trade in this. And while I don't always do the same trades as options and day trades we did today in this, why it was a very good gap, was an excellent golden gap. And again, my system is based on a 26 point gap rating system. So you rate the gap in the morning of the pre-market. That's what I did with this. If it rates 20 points or more, which this did, you take it in the direction of the gap. So here's what we did. Actually, this was falling almost faster you can even keep up with it. Anyways, we shorted this, got the drop, boom. I had what I thought was a good exit on the day trade here. This continued almost down to 126. Look at that. That was in the morning. Then it kept going after that. Let's just look at what the low of the day is in this here now. We're 24.97. So, I mean, long story short, this is a great day trade, but you definitely could have held it. You could have got back into it as well. I don't really like to do that once I have my goal in for the day. This is a big trade this morning where we got it. Again, I think it's a lot easier to do a put in something and hold it as an option you could get out of this anywhere today, here now. You could have got out of it earlier. You could hold it overnight. I think this is lower. But again, there's nothing wrong with taking a trade and booking money in it, particularly in this type of market. Again, this was an earnings trade, and we have a lot of earnings out tonight that could flip the market, that could flip this, or could help this go more. So I think that if you want to get out of this today, it's fine. If you want to hold it till tomorrow, you're at the mercy of what happens with the market overnight with the earnings tonight. But again, we've had some really big monster shorts, some uh, monster day trade shorts, some monster puts lately in the last two weeks, really since earnings season started. So nice trades day in UPS. Very, very big move right out of the gate. That's what I'm looking for usually. And that is how I've made a whole career um, and a living out of trading. And then obviously uh, a business where I teach people how to do it and they follow my trades in the room because I'm so good at seeing what's gonna happen before it happens. And that's how we're able to get in a trade like this so quick, so early. I mean, we had such a, we couldn't have had a better entry in this if we, unless we had shorted it at the high of the day, to be honest with you. So but the fact that I could have held it down to the break of 125 is actually kind of crazy. I think about it, the day trade. Um, but again, let's look at the gap. So this closed 145.18. Closed here, gap down, open in the morning at 130.14, okay? Rallied, and that tail is not accurate. Actually, the high here really was 132. So we'll see where this goes. 104, again, you could be out of it. You could be out of it. I mean, again, we've had some really big trades. I've gone to dream targets. Not everything goes to a dream target. Sometimes you look at something and say, I'm going to chunk it out, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it out. And again, I like to get out of the day trades really quick, really fast. But this was one, to be honest with you, that you definitely, definitely could have held. And there's going to be other ones like this too. <laughs> Um, I'm sure this week, today is only Tuesday. We have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three more days this week and lots of things out. So good luck, everyone. Congratulations on everyone that did the UPS trade today. If you have questions or you would like to sign up for the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day.